Hello and welcome to the first video in the onboarding video series to the Eclipse Data Space Connector. My name is Paul and I will guide you through this video. So in this first video we are just going to make sure that you have correctly check out, checked out everything, that you can build and run the code just so your local setup is verified. First first, first things first, we are going to check out the code with git clone. So the EDC is built using Java 11, so you might want to check that you have Java 11 installed just by doing java-version. And it's while it's fine to use Java, you know, 15 or 16 or whatever, it's still advisable to use Java 11 for the Eclipse Data Space Connector. It doesn't make much difference whether you're using OpenJDK or any other JDK. Um, it's just the one that I have. So next we are going to cd into the directory and we are going to build the code. So we're using Gradle, so you can either use your local Gradle installation or you can also use the package Gradle wrapper. I'm going to use the package Gradle wrapper. If, you, if you've never done this before, then Gradle will pull down uh, code from its repository, so it might take a while, a few minutes. Um, if you have done this before, it should look like, uh, like mine and um, it should finish, finish in a couple of minutes. It will also run unit tests, so that's what these green tags are. It will not run integration tests for the simple fact that it takes a long time and you would need credentials for these external systems and uh, we only do this in our CI CD chain. So once that completes successfully, we can then try to run our first connector which we, we do by just ex executing a Java command, java-char, and the one that we want is in launchers, basic, then uh, build, libs, and then it's called database connector basic.char. We're gonna run that. That looks fine. So we have verified that the local installation works and you can now head over to the second video in the series.